St. Joseph's College is all about spirituality and nurturing uh, spirituality and being aware of other faith traditions and so you know how many of us in Maine get to experience Buddhism and and monks and so to to have to, to welcome these folks to campus to come share their um, their faith traditions and their artwork with us is just an amazing opportunity. Probably the catalyst for bringing the monks to campus was conversations that were happening with regard to the development of the Center for Faith and Spirituality. We knew that we were at that point both for the college and the center and the local community to sponsor the first event. We wanted a space, we wanted to create a space that would really be welcoming to, to people of all faiths, all faith traditions, uh, really a chance, give them a chance to explore what spirituality might mean in their lives. Um, uh, as uh, members of the college community know, that's an important part of what St. Joseph's College does. It invites people to consider various dimensions of, their, of our existence, uh, and, and faith and spirituality is one of those. Essentially a week-long so, uh, event that people could come to whenever they wanted to, could drop in, you know, from Monday morning uh, at 10 to Thursday afternoon at 6, you know, uh, would really seem to a wonderful way to, to invite people to come to the college, to get a sense of who we are, to get a sense of what we're trying to accomplish, uh, and to, to see a really cool thing. So there's uh, something about um, this particular experience, but I even think just the broader sense of the development of a Center for Faith and Spirituality that's, that's tapping into a hunger, a real need, a real interest um, on the part of individuals and communities. And if, and if the college can leverage resources, can leverage the best of who we are, um, and cultivate that, foster that, uh, be in partnership with other individuals and groups that want to attend to that dimension of ourselves, um, I think that's a gift. I think it's an important responsibility that the college has. Uh, the particular spirituality of the Mandala sand painting, right? This this intense effort, right? Studied practice effort, which you know they they, they engage in for a for an for you know in our case four days, and at the very end during the closing ceremony they'll they'll, they'll it'll brush it away, right? You know, so that points to the, this the, the, some of the core issues about human life, right? Why we do things, how we do things. Um, not just the technique, but also the understanding of what's, what's underlying that, our effort, you know, uh, and where does it go. I think um, to invite seven monks to the campus community, to share with the campus community their culture, their religion, the sacred art form, I think provides great space, literally and figuratively, uh, to invite people into um, another culture. There would be people who come for 10 or 15 minutes, and some do. Um, or people that come and stay a couple of hours, and some have. Um, or those people that come every day because they want to see how the mandala is taking shape and how it's developing and how it's taking form. Um, my hope would be that they walk away with a gift of some sort. Um.